Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. See what Rufai Hosseini said about uh, Olurotimi Akere Dolu's death that is making a lot of headlines and that is causing a lot of reactions. Could it be true? Now, you may be wondering, who is Rufai Hosseini? He's an Arise TV presenter and um, most often and known, he's been controversial, you know, in terms of looking at the way government has been relating with the people and the government approach in some of the areas which has caused a lot of reactions with many Nigerians wondering what the next line of action could be. So there's a lot involved and everybody is really wondering. Yesterday we saw a governor, a governor in the southwest region of the country, Lurotimi Akere Dulu, Undo State to be precise, who has been ill for some time now uh, due to cancer and um, passed on yesterday. Uh, but Rufai Hosseini had just said something about him that is causing lots of reactions. Could it be true? God answers prayers. But it was the time for Akere Dolu to go. He has fought the good fight, Rafai Hosseini. Rafai Hosseini, a journalist, has offered his condolences to on the on the sad death of the Ondo State Governor Olorotimi Akere Dolu. The death of the Governor Akere Dolu was announced on Wednesday. He passed away in Lagos at the age of 67 years. Rafai Hosseini expressed his sympathy and hailed the Governor's heroic and struggle against leukemia during an appearance on Arise TV morning show. He remarked that the late governor fought a valiant battle against leukemia. Rafael Seni said God rest his soul during the inter interventions as regards the political situation that erupted in Ondo State between him and the deputy governor when he had when we condemn the action of some people trying to keep him up because of his health. We constantly prayed for his quick recovery. It is not that God does not answer prayers. God answers prayers, but it was the time for Atiko, for Atiko, that's his nickname, that's Governor Lurotimi Akere Dolu to go. He has fought the good fight and he has fought for a while now. The suffering is over. A couple of months ago, there were rumors of his death, but then it came, he came back and fought cancer even more. I got a chance to meet him once. He was a man bear, bearing with a lot of smiles and a lot of ideas. He makes people smile. He's a good one. He made his own mistakes in life. We are all pro to making mistakes. In fact, it's... it's he was humor, humor, humorous, somebody with a good humor and makes he, all the human around him feel comfortable. And today, this is what it is. He has gone and it is time for him to go. We all must watch all of this carefully and know that every one of us will go someday. So that's Rufai Hosseini. And, um, you know, he has said his own beats, his own part. And today, here we are. And, um, you know, Indeed, he fought a fight. Indeed, he did what he could, you know. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, when, the, when the whistle is blown, a man will go. And so, um, you know, I mean, he's just 67 years of age. But, I mean, who knows? Uh, thank God for the life he lived. You know, he was the second tenor. He was already, I mean, seven on. And um, this happened to him. The deputy governor was sworn in yesterday. The wife was preparing for her birthday, her 70th birthday. When all of this happened, her husband was ill and all that had to be put, you know, to a hold. So here we are, you know, and um, Rufai Hosseini put it quite well. He fought a good fight. You know, nobody wants to be ill. Sickness is not, it's not, a, it's not a good thing. It's not at all, you know, so he's going to be with his maker and uh, today we can all see that indeed, you know, he has fought a good fight like Rufai Hosseini has said. And we continue to pray for the family, uh, the wife, especially the children. Those are the immediate family who will miss, uh, you know, their, their, their husband, father, you know, and the people of Ondo State. And um, please accept our deepest condolences 
we, we will not assume we understand what you're going through. You know, until somebody wears the shoes, you may not truly understand how he pinches. And so it is important that when people grieve, you know, you empathize, you sympathize and do what you can to make things easy for them. You know, so people are going through a lot. Um, Ndulurotimi Akere Dulu, a sitting governor, you know, has gone to be with his maker. And um, here we are. It is important that we understand all of this. And, um, you know, we continue to put, you know, things right in the right perspective and in the right order so that Nigeria can truly move forward and we can truly advance and make a headway. Every one of us should understand that, you know, if this country becomes better, we will enjoy it. If things become better, we will all enjoy the ambience of it and Nigeria, you know, will become a better place. But what are we doing? And how are we going about that? Are we just going to sit back there and do nothing? You know, um, if we see things that are not right, we call it out. But in this case, uh, somebody has gone to be with his maker. And what we can do is that we can send our condolences and we can pray for the family. You know, we can pray for the family, especially the wife. We can pray for the family, especially the wife. You know, so, uh, I mean... Rafael Seni has just said it, that the guy fought, you know, he, he met him once. They had, you know, of course, Rafael Seni, like you know him, if there is something, he will speak out. He will not just uh, sit down there. No, that's why, you know, some politicians do not like him. They say, no, he's too controversial. Is this, is that. But he's only expressing, you know, opinion and different views that could possibly, you know, be good for Nigeria, you know. And at the end of the day, it's about the bigger picture. It's about the bigger picture. What do we see? What do we want to be? And how do we how we expressing all of this? Okay, so these are these are some of the things. So you see, Nigeria. Um, please let's send our condolences to the family who have just lost the loved ones. Um, and hope that you know things get better. Um, you know, in a couple of days, you know, and they can live their life. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news remember you have a voice god bless have a fantastic and a lovely day from us is bye for now every one of us must do all we possibly can to change the course of the nation bye, -bye.